Right, well, I've been at the MHRA for 14 years and ever since I joined we've always had an element of risk-based approach to our inspections. We started to formalise that far more in 2006 and formally launched our risk-based inspection approach in 2009 and we've developed that further since then. I think the, th the key things going forward for regulators will be international working together in a more formalised way, exchanging inspection reports, inspection outcomes and really making decisions on, on each other's work and how that's done. So there's a number of formats that really drive that. One will be PICS, which has now got 48 members, and that's really driving across GMP the standards that inspectors are inspecting to and sharing more information and working together. There's also the ICMRA, which is moving in this year. We've moved into the phase one work of having to a GMP reliance programme that will actually allow us to take risk-based decisions based on the outcome of other inspectorates. So I think they're the real things that will drive forward compliance in this area. For industry to support that work that's ongoing, the key thing will be helping by sharing inspection reports and actually crossing over boundaries where perhaps between regulators, confidentiality agreements are, aren't in place, but with the agreement of companies, that sharing of information becomes far smoother and far more transparent. So I think that's a real thing industry can do to support that. I think the three key things around um, regulation and working closer together are for industry to listen to what regulators say via information they share, perhaps as an agency where we have our blog and that allows us to communicate with stakeholders what we wish to take forward. Understand that we have processes outside of how we take regulatory action against companies, such as our compliance management team and the way we have warning letters that it highlight to companies where they may be failing and significant changes they can make to come back into compliance. But also for companies to understand that regulators really do want to work together more in order to have risk-based approaches that benefit patients and industry equally. One of the key things I think for regulators and for the audience to take home is that there's a real appetite amongst regulators to work closer together and to really allow risk-based approaches to fulfil their potential globally.